If you're looking for the best B550 motherboard in 2023, there's a lot you need to consider. First off, consider what processor you're going to use with the board. B550 boards support Ryzen 3000 and 5000. For those of you who want to upgrade to Zen 4, Ryzen 7000, you'll want to look out for B650 or X670 motherboards. As Ryzen processors can be tuned quite heavily, you'll need to look for good memory overclocking, a robust power delivery system, and BIOS flashback in the case of any issues. Taking all that into consideration, we've compiled a list of the best B550 motherboards. This includes our top choice, which is an all-rounder in terms of features and design at a reasonable price. Our high-end pick is a premium motherboard that delivers on premium power delivery, good overclocking, and a stunning design. Our budget pick will deliver most of the features you're looking for while sacrificing a few bells and whistles here and there to save some money. So let's get started. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number 3. MSI B550A Pro Best Budget B550 motherboard. Not everyone out there will care about overclocking, high-end audio, etc. When it comes to a downright reliable motherboard for Ryzen CPUs, we can easily recommend the MSI B558 Pro. If you don't care about extra bells and whistles, then this motherboard just might fit your needs. It's definitely quite hard to ignore for the price. The design of this board is not something that truly stands out, but it manages to get the basics right. It uses an all-black PCB with aluminum heat sinks. The heat sink is decent in terms of size and has MSI branding all over. Over it. The board also includes an M2 shield for PCIe Gen 4 SSDs. While the design, other than that, is quite simple, it gets the fundamentals and layout down perfectly. Like other X570 and B550 options, this one also includes a flash BIOS button. It's a great feature to have on a cheaper motherboard. There's also no need for a processor to be physically present in order to update the BIOS. On top of that, the Core Boost technology makes sure that the power delivery is reliable and robust. MSI claims that this board uses a 10 plus 2 phase design for power delivery and in reality, it uses five phases with two power stages in each phase. This means you can't heavily overclock or tweak to your liking. However, you are getting dual M2 slots with PCIe 4.0, fast memory support, and reliability, all at a cheaper price tag. If you don't mind the aesthetics, it's a great board to get in terms of reliability, especially on a budget. Our ratings for VRM design are 7.5 out of 10. Aesthetics, 7 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Value for your money is a 9 out of 10. For an overall rating, 8.1 out of 10. Before moving to the next board, it would really help us continue making more videos if you support us by just hitting the like button and subscribe, or even with a comment so that we know if you like it or if there's something we can do to improve next time. I promise it costs nothing, just a few seconds. So let's move to the next B550 board. Number 2. Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master Best High-End B550 Motherboard If you're looking for a B550 motherboard that has it all, then the Aorus Master is the best B550 motherboard for you. While the pricing for this motherboard creeps into X570 territory, it's the absolute best you can get out of the B550 chipset. So the Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master is a high-end motherboard, and it definitely looks the part. The design is not that different compared to the X570 versions. That's not necessarily a bad thing, since the X570 Aorus Master is already quite easy on the eyes. The chipset heatsink shows off the Aorus Falcon logo with great pride. Even better is the fact that there's no chipset fan, unlike the X570 version. The B550 chipset does not need an active fan to keep cool, and this is a big plus in terms of acoustics for your gaming PC. Apart from that, the board is mostly all black with gray accents here and there. All three of the M2 slots feature heat sinks with a line pattern design. On closer inspection, this pattern runs from the rear panel cover to through these heat sinks. The rear panel cover also sports some subtle RGB lighting. This I.O. shroud blends in with the gigantic VRM heat sinks covering the 16-phase delivery system. 14 of those digital phases are dedicated to the V-Core, meaning you can get superb performance out of nearly any Ryzen processor. This 16-phase power delivery also allows for excellent CPU overclocking. Speaking of which, memory overclocking is quite impressive, as you can crank DDR4 kits all the way up to 5200 MHz. Of course, you'll have to find the right RAM kit to do so, but it is technically possible. The audio codec also performs well, delivering high-end audio quality without any static or interference. You also get a diagnostic panel and four debug LEDs that can display error codes. This is a great feature seen on higher-end boards, so it's great to see that it's present here. Apart from that, connectivity is also excellent, as you'd expect. You have access to a total of 11 USB ports on the rear, plenty of fan headers, Wi-Fi 6, 2.5 gigabyte per second Ethernet, and 5 RGB headers. Needless to say, this motherboard covers pretty much all the bases. The only issue here is the price. For a bit more, you can get an X570 motherboard that will wipe the floor with most B550 boards out there. However, thanks to the excellent VRM configuration, this one is an exception. If you want the best B550 motherboard out there and money is no object, this is the one to buy. Our rating for VRM design is 9 out of 10. Aesthetic, 
graphics, 9 out of 10. Connectivity, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.7 out of 10. Number 1, Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi, our top choice. No list of best motherboards for any processor is complete without a Strix board. This is due to many reasons. First off, the product line is extremely popular, and secondly, all Strix products have an iconic design scheme that resonates with many people. With that said, those are not the only two things that the Strix B550F is going for it. The design language alone speaks volumes. It features a familiar design seen in the Strix products with stealthy looks and excellent RGB lighting implementation. The heatsinks, PCB, and most of the exterior share a uniform color black. This provides a sleek look to the board and means the RGB lighting balances it off gorgeously. ROG branding and logos are visible, both of which are beautifully lit up by RGB. All of this is controllable thanks to AuraSync, an excellent interface for RGB lighting. Apart from that, this board features Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, 2.5 gigabit Etherland, and addressable RGB headers. You also get support for 125 gigabytes of RAM and dual channel at 4400 MHz. Not bad at all. It even features a BIOS flashback button. The Supreme FX audio chip inside here works wonders as well, and onboard audio is excellent considering the price-performance ratio. Performance aficionados might not care about these features on their own, but they appeal to the larger mainstream audience for sure. The board also features a 14-phase 12 plus 2 power design, which is quite good for a B550 board. It leaves you with a lot of overclocking headroom for the Ryzen, which is quite surprising for the Strix B550 board. Well, the only real issue remaining here then is the price, as it creeps up on X570 territory. Despite that, this motherboard is a bestseller, largely in part due to the abundance of features. Our ratings for VRM design are a 9 out of 10, aesthetics is 9 out of 10, connectivity 9 out of 10, value for your money is 7.5 out of 10, or an overall rating of 8.6 out of 10. So what do you think? Which of these is the best B550 motherboard for you? Or do you think another motherboard's better for your PC build?